Students and teachers from several schools across the island were on hand for the launch of Phase 1 of the Caribbean Small Island Developing States Multi-Country Soil Management Initiative for Integrated Landscape Restoration and Sustainable Food Systems. The participating countries are Barbados, Antigua and Barbuda, Belize, Grenada, Haiti, Jamaica and St. Lucia. The project is a partnership between the Global Environment Facility, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, the Natural Heritage Department and the Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Nutritional Security. Permanent Secretary in that ministry, Terry Bascom, said several of the ministry's agencies are in the process of undertaking activities that will be reinforced by the implementation of the new project. He highlighted the planting of couscous grass. The BAMC has planted, as I say, 10 miles of that grass to reduce soil loss and erosion at about eight plantations managed by government. A two-acre couscous grass nursery has also been established and another three uh, Another one, three acres in size, is being built out in the north of the island. The grass is also available to small farmers, so you can come and get your couscous grass from the nursery, and you can plant it at your own private properties. In terms of aquifer recharging, BAMC has completed 50 wells since the start of the program and have channeled previously wasted water from roads towards these wells. Minister of the Environment and National Beautification, Adrian Ford, hailed the soil care project as one that will save the next generation. Unless you have fertile soil, unless the soil is able to do what it intends to in terms of rehabilitating our ecosystem and allowing that diversity, then we will not be able not only to achieve the Sustainable Development Goal 15.3, but the Sustainable Development Goal 14 and 15, land both under and water, under the bottom of the ocean, and land, and, and, and life, sorry, on land. I think that is very important. The Regional Executing Agency for Seasid Soil Care is a partnership initiative for sustainable land management. Representative Kiefer Jackson shared some of the aims. Out of this project, we will be developing tools, policies, and best practices for the participating countries to achieve land irrigation neutrality, as well as, as was mentioned before, the Sustainable Development Goal, specifically 15.3. PSLM, as a homegrown regional organization, is pleased to be working with governments on this project, and specifically the government of Barbados, and we look forward to working with you for phase one and beyond in the achievement of the 25 by 25 vision. The launch ended with a tour of the Soil Conservation Unit.